shake that left and taffy. That left and taffy. Yeah, shake that left and taffy. That left and taffy. Yeah. Is Liquid Faction going to be on the final? Yeah. Oh. Shake Why do you think I'm doing this? Yeah. Whatever. Quick, man. All the faults under LA. Uh, uh, uh. Puente Hills, Blind oh, Thrust. Raymond Strikes Lip. Come on. San Gabriel. Reverse. You're better than that, man. This is a time test. I mean, come well, on. One more time. Puente Hills, Blind Thrust. Um, Raymond Strikes Lip, San Gabriel. Reverse. Dude, I can't take this anymore. It's not safe anywhere anymore, dude. We gotta get to the bottom of this. That's me, I'm out of here now. Wait! We'll, we'll get, get to, to the, the bottom, bottom of earthquake, earthquake safety! safety. Welcome to beautiful Los Angeles, home of Hollywood, some of the most magnificent views you'll see in the country, and traffic. <laughs> but besides that, we have a great atmosphere here, great dining, great sporting events, and overall just a genuinely good town. But the real question is, what's going on with Los Angeles? And for that, we turn it over to our expert, Professor Dolan in Los Angeles. It turns out that we built the city on top of a really interesting kind of uh, juncture between two geologic provinces. To the north of us, the reason we have so many mountains to the north, the so-called transverse ranges, is uh, they're all being uplifted along a series of east-west trending uh, reverse faults. Um, and some of the biggest ones are uh, the Sierra Madre Fault, which is responsible for the uplift of the San Gabriel Mountains north of the city. Another very big one that's been receiving a lot of attention recently is well, directly beneath the USC campus here. Uh, it's called the Pointy Hills Blind Thrust Fault. We've been doing a lot of work on the Pointy Hills Blind Thrust Fault over the past few years, uh, trying to understand um, how fast it stores up and releases energy and what kind of earthquakes it's produced in the past, which of course tells us what kind of earthquakes it's likely to produce in the future. Good news is what we found is that this fault appears to generate earthquakes very infrequently. So a big Pointy Hills Thrust Earthquake is a really rare event once every few thousand years. Now, the flip side, the bad news is, of course, that um, long intervals between earthquakes has a chance to store up a lot of strain, which means that when it does break, it appears to break in large magnitude events. What does large magnitude mean? Something in excess of magnitude seven. So Alex, you remember how I said we're gonna get to the bottom of this? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna do it right now. We're here with uh, a Mr. Ian Bailey, who uh, works here as a PhD student for USC, and uh, he has some innovating new research about earthquakes, and we'd like to interview him right now. So, Ian, could you tell us what you're working on right now? Well, this is just a piece of equipment that illustrates the effect of different frequencies of ground shaking on the sizes of different buildings. Well, the thing this is showing is uh, we've got three buildings that are of different heights, and we're going to look at how they respond to low frequency ground movement and high frequency ground movement. So you can see at the start, this thing's moving very slowly, so it's very low frequency. And that's, this is something that illustrates the difference between big and small earthquakes. So the earthquake's very far away, but it's very big. You have a lot of low frequency energy. And that low frequency energy will affect the tallest buildings. So as this low frequency energy goes past here, you see the tallest building, this one on the corner, mm -hmm. shakes the most. As I increase the frequency, which is reflective of closer earthquakes, you see the smaller buildings start to shake more. Okay, so we're going up in frequency, and you'll see this building start to shake much more. Uh -huh. Okay, and as I increase it even more, I see large effects on these. Incredible. Hey, Alex, wait, wait, come on, man. You, we have to get to the bottom of this earthquake thing. Come on. Thank you, Ian. Come on, dude. We have to, what are you doing? Hi, this is Jason Katchen reporting live from the top of the Shrine Auditorium building. 
Behind me is a beautiful view of the Los Angeles County. We're here today to talk about earthquake safety amongst buildings. The safest type of building is your single family wood framed house. This building is good because in an earthquake it barely shakes and the only damage that you'll find is within the items inside the house, such as dishes or things not bolted to the wall. The most unsafe type of building is your typical concrete or brick non-reinforced building. These buildings will automatically crumble in a strong earthquake, which is very unsafe. And because of this, the Field Act was put into place, which said that these buildings either have to be retrofitted or completely demolished and rebuilt in order to maintain safety for uh, the California Building Code. Now, although retrofitting is not a perfect science, about 75% of the time, these buildings will not fail. Hi, this is Alexander Balthier reporting to you guys from USC Shrine Auditorium in downtown Los Angeles. I'm here to discuss the safety of these skyscrapers right here behind me in downtown LA. Now, what have we done over the last 30 years to secure these buildings? We've gone through retrofitting, but nowadays we're also doing confinement and rebarring. What that basically consists of is you have vertical steel rods that are then wrapped around additional steel rod that goes around it, and that's what makes up the skeleton of the building. And that's attached to a secure basin. Yeah, dude, like, today was a really hard day. Such a long day, man. I'm, I'm, I, think I'm, I think I'm doing better about this. Like, I've been reading a lot on it, like, the whole seismology thing. And yeah, it's doing better, you know? I think I lost, lost my fear. What, do you feel that? Um, I don't know what that is. Do you, you, don't, you don't hear that? You don't feel like... But, yeah, I feel it. I, 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 don't, know, I don't know what's going on. Dude, relax. Dude, I mean, it's, it's not that bad. I'm sure. No, no, no. Oh, man. Look, it's just a little earthquake. Nothing's going to happen. It's You're not. safe, man. I promise. I'm like, I promise. Oh Dude, you're not gonna die, just relax. Ah, oh, oh. Ah, I think okay. it stopped. Yeah? Oh, sure. Alright. 